Are you more a cup mind or a knife mind? Hi, I'm DJ from Rainbow Dragon Digital, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about some occult wisdom and how that might help you think about your marketing focus. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please do. It'll help me out loads. And if you click the bell, it'll uh, notify you when I release new videos. So in occult wisdom, um, it's, it's thought that you have two different types of mind. You have a knife mind and you have a cup mind. Right, and your your knife mind is um, the the mind that pushes outwards. It's the stuff. It's the mind that gets things done. It goes out and does things. It's it's a knife, right? It goes out and it and it and it um, you know pushes pushes your your will outwards, right? You 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 make things happen with your knife mind. The cup mind is um, absorbing, you know, it's a vessel. So, so things pour into your cup. So you are, um, you, you absorb stuff from the world and, and your mind is then um, uh, ingesting information from the world in order to um, invigorate and empower your mind. So you might wonder why I'm talking about the, these cup and knife minds and occult wisdom. Well, occult wisdom kind of underlines a lot of human psychology and, and anything that's, that's in human psychology, of course, underlines marketing as well. So if we, if we think about this a, a little bit in terms of um, knife mind and cup mind, um, I think it, it, when I was learning about this, I think it, it, it super relates to marketing and the way that, that marketers are. I think there are, there are different types of marketers and there's different types of marketing and you need both your knife mind and your cup mind to do marketing well. You need your knife mind because you need to go out there and you need to do your marketing. You can't just sit and plan and you can't just uh, constantly be be thinking about marketing strategy. You have to go out and do it. You have to go create stuff. You have to go communicate with people. You have to you have to push your knife mind out there to to get your will in into gear to 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 make your business happen. But you also need a cup mind. A big, big part of marketing is stepping back, taking a look at what's going on, taking stock, looking at all of your statistics, all of your, looking at your dashboard, figuring out what is actually happening and understanding what is happening before you go out there with the knife, right? Um, or, or at the same time as going out there with the knife. You need to be able to do both of these things. And this is what occult wisdom says, is that um, it, it's not that you are a cup mind or a knife mind. You are both. And you have to have both. You, you as a whole person need to use both your cup and your knife mind at different times for different purposes. So if you're a marketer, if you're a business owner then then this think about whether um whether your your knife mind or your cup mind is currently dominating your marketing practice are you doing more of the doing and not spending enough time um assessing your your stats or are you a bit of a spreadsheet fiend and you're not doing enough stuff and you keep measuring stuff without actually doing um as much as you should or have you found that balance? Have you managed to to balance between uh, checking your statistics and going and doing stuff? I know that I'm still struggling with that balance and I'm sure that a lot of other people are. And I hope that maybe this concept of the knife and the cup can help you um, check in with yourself and see whether what you're doing is the right thing for what you're doing and whether you're in balance as a marketing professional.